Hi guys, I'd like to welcome you guys all back to my channel. Today I'm here to give you guys another look into my travel life and this is what's in my work makeup bag. This is different than my other travel bags because normally um, for makeup, I really stick to the same colors. I don't really veer too much off with lipsticks, um, you know, things that are the things that I bring. I could switch it tonight if I really needed to, but most of the time I don't have time to. So for right now, my go-to foundation is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in 112. I love this foundation. I love the coverage of this foundation. And um, I also use the powder, but I can't find the powder right now. But if I wasn't using the powder, I'd probably just bring my Makeup Forever one, just because I just like this, found this powder as well. I'm actually wearing this powder today and I do like it. The next thing that's going to be in my makeup bag is the Jasmine Iris Oil Control Primer from Pacifica. I love this primer. I talk about this primer all the time. It goes on my skin so smooth. It hasn't caused any reactions and it helps my makeup last all the time. I have three different prime, not primers, I'm sorry. I have three different eyeshadow palettes that I bring. The first one is um, Heart of Gold. It's the rocker palette that I always bring. To me, it has a good, it has a good, um, transition color like a crease color or a shade or a lid color and then it has stuff I can use for highlights and stuff I can use for eyeshadows so this is also what I use for highlights um, the next one is a palette that I made myself it's from NYX and I have my own palette that I created I also put the names up here because it's easier that way um, but I have uh, leather and leather and studs undress me blame it on midnight Shameless, Late Night Lingerie, Dancing the Tides, Frisky, Bear It All, and then Not Today. Uh, to me, uh, I had these colors. Well, I had these colors. I ran out. And I used them a lot. So I figured instead of carrying all the individual ones when I travel, just get a whole palette. So this is the one that I bring with me every business trip. The next palette that I bring is my Coastal Scents palette. I accidentally broke it. So I gotta be careful, but these are the colors. Um, I'm gonna list the colors. Uh, I'll list the colors on my blog because I actually forgot the colors. They're on the back, so I'd have to like pull each one out one by one. But I like this palette because this palette gives me a little bit of color that I need on some days. I use these, um, this row a lot for transition colors. Um, Oh, and this one. I use these these a lot for transition colors, and these two are great too. But these are like if something if we're having an event or something when I'm on this trip and like I just need to add something different to my look, I might bust out these colors. But this is usually the colors that I use the most. The bronzer that I bring, even though um, sometimes I don't even use bronzer on my business trips, is still my CoverGirl Queen. Uh, this one is in the Ebony Bronze. I still use this. This is my go-to bronzer, especially when traveling. Right now, for color correcting, I'm using the Sephora Bright Eye in orange. This is still my go-to one. I bring sponges and brushes, but I'm not going to show you guys the ones that I bring because I pretty much bring the same things that I use in my videos. For concealers, I bring my Maybelline Fit Me in Cafe, and then I bring Dolce de Leche from the Sephora Care, from the Sephora line. And I also bring a small version of my Sasha Buttercup. I keep it in this little container. And that's what I use for my setting powder. And I use Thrive Cosmetics for the black eyeliner. If, I need, if, if I'm going to a night function, I always bring this because it kind of helps turn my look from day to night. And then um, for eyeliner, I'm using the, I, the Aiko London I Do Liquid Liner. It's waterproof, which helps. Um, but yeah, I got it out of Ipsy and I'm still quite obsessed with it, but it does go in my travel kit. My go-to mascara when traveling is the Mary Kay Love Lash. Um, I like the brush. It helps It helps elongate my lashes without making them too much. But of course, I have to still bring my Mad Lash. I like thick looking lashes. I like thick long looking lashes. So these two always come in my, um, in my case. Plus they're travel friendly, so I love that. To set all of my makeup, I still use my Urban Decay, <laughs> Urban Decay D Slick setting spray this is still my go-to setting spray um i do carry my mac fix plus with me when i travel um just because it wets my sponges and stuff and i don't have to worry about it 
For lips, it's very basic for me. Um, actually, the lip combination that I have on right now is the lip that I usually wear when I'm traveling. It is the Pitch Lip Pencil with ColourPop's Daydream Matte X. And then I wanted a little gloss, so I just put my clear gloss over it. I carry this clear gloss with me, and then I usually carry a red, um, a brown, and two different types of nudes. A brown nude and a pink nude. So it's usually like Pitch is one that I like carrying, Lax, Daydream, and then um, Pit, Pinch. It's another like thing. I usually bring the ColourPop ones. They're just easy to travel with for some reason. And then normally when I travel, I always carry one color. Like one color that's like different or can brighten it up or darken it up. I haven't decided what color I'm bringing, but this actually might be on my list. But I might do darker just because I like the whole winter time thing. Sometimes um, I, I carry my Makeup Forever Instant Brush Cleaner inside my um, bag as well uh, just because I like to keep some of my brushes clean but one tip that I can say from you guys like if you're like me and you're natural and you can't use the shampoo and conditioner in the hotel because they're like this big you can use the shampoo and conditioner to clean your makeup brushes and they work really really well like I shampoo them and then I put the conditioner on them and it softens back my brushes and everything so that's just a trick if you haven't done that before I also bring makeup wipes with me, of course. I bring like tons of these. Um, I travel with the e.l.f. ones. They're smaller, they're more compact, and they fit in smaller places. But I can't find what I did with them. So this is going in my bag as well. As far as lashes are concerned, I don't actually bring lashes with me. Um, usually I would just play up my own lashes and just do whatever I need to do if it's some kind of night event. But according to the agenda, the itinerary for my business trip that I'm had that's coming up tomorrow, I don't have anything that I need to worry about for lashes or anything glammed up that much. So that was everything that's in my work makeup bag. Um, I try to keep it light because again, it's for work. I'm not really, um, you know, I I want to look good, but like I don't need to be like beating down the doors of people's houses and stuff. I do carry makeup sponges. Um, this time, I usually carry at least two. If I'm going for a week or more, I carry at least two of these. Um, I keep them in here for storage purposes, but um, I do that. And then I also carry... Um I also carry one extra, lately I've been carrying an extra palette with me, I forgot to show you guys, and it's the Modern Renaissance. I love this palette. Um, I can't help but keep wanting to bring it around with me, so this is a neutral palette too. To me, personally, when it comes to work, because I'm an engineer and my particular profession does not, like, that type of creativity, yeah, it's not really the focus. Like, if I was in a more creative field, I would have way more colors on all the time, but I do try to keep it more of a neutral. Um, my wardrobe is a little bit louder than my makeup when it comes to work. I also want to say that when I travel with my makeup, I um, the little containers that you get from Sephora, I travel with my foundation in this unless it comes in like I'm traveling with my L'Oreal like this but normally I travel with my cases like this I try to make it as small as possible and um, I also make it so that I can take the bag with me as, as part of my carry-on because my makeup is expensive like my makeup is expensive I just don't want to take that chance so I do use small containers um, as you can see my buttercup is in here and I label everything because I try to keep them separate from my actual makeup kit so that was everything in my travel makeup bag. Thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, check down below for more information. Um, I, can't, I don't know if there's going to be another video this week, but keep a lookout because you never know. Till the next time, guys. Bye.